Hello, my name's Lee Howes, and this is the first in a series of screencasts called Fireworks in the Real World. So, this series is for, it's suitable for newcomers to fireworks, anyone who may have used it before, but not necessarily as their primary design tool of choice. Anyone else is welcome, of course. Um, but I'll be showing you the advantages that Fireworks has for real-world projects. Um, and we're going to do just that. We're going to work through a pretend but very real project from beginning to end, uh, just using Fireworks as the sort of main tool. So we're going to work through project initiation of wireframing, producing mood boards. We're going to create low-fidelity prototypes. We're going to work through a, a whole design process and you know, look at all the tools along the way. Um, both the native tools and extensions which are out there which can really sort of uh, simplify and aid us in the workflow. So we're going to deal with um, pretend client change requests and show how fireworks can really help during that part of the process. You know, client decides they, they don't like a colour and you have to change the colour across the project. Um, some really great features of fireworks which allows that to be quite a painless um, painless undertaking so let's have a as it's an introduction let's have a quick potted history of fireworks um, started back in 1998 as macromedia fireworks I was using it back then but just dipping into it now and then really and it moved through fireworks two three four became part of the MX suite at version uh, five six um, Lots of different graphics for every different version. Lots of new ideas along the way. Then in 2005-ish, it got taken over by Adobe and became part of their creative suite. So this was CS3. CS4. Now this is where I kind of really started using it as my main design tool full-time. Um, I think it started actually as what, after watching a screencast from the Adobe guys showing all the new tools. And I was intrigued, um, I just gave it a try and then jumped in, threw myself in the deep end and decided to use it on a client project um, and took it from there. I mean, the thing is, if you're under a tight deadline, changing your main software, never a good idea. You need to be familiar with it and, you know, the last thing you want to do is be fighting with a new package. So I, I chose um, a client which, um, it wasn't a tight deadline, there was a bit more time available to me to, to learn the tool as I went along. But like anything else, you know, once the learning curve has, uh, once you've, once you've uh, fought through the learning curve, you, you then benefit from the time savings that you've you've made. So CS5, and currently we're at CS6, which is what I'm going to use to record these screencasts. Good time to just um, bring up the fact that there has been a bit of speculation about fireworks and whether it will even continue, whether it might get dropped by Adobe. I've not seen any evidence one way or another for this. A lot of speculation based on things like um, lack of support for retina graphics displays and you know perhaps uh, you know hasn't had the the latest uh, darker interface that CS6 Photoshop and um, Illustrator have had applied to them but you know it's a kind of lesser used product so I, I guess it could just take more time to integrate those features um, you know away from the bigger tools which have got the greater following but if you've got any information on this um, feel free to add it to a comment section on this page or let me know some other way that would be great so, um, what can you use fireworks for? Well, I think that's the uh, the main thing for me, the flexibility that it offers. Uh, as I've said, I, I use it for wireframing, for prototyping. I use it for batch operations, for graphics, and just for my main kind of everyday tool. Um, it doesn't replace some other tools. It doesn't replace Photoshop for editing photos. It doesn't replace Illustrator for more complex um, vector kind of operations. What it does offer though is this kind of broad sweeping range of um, tools, bitmap editing, vector editing, animation tools. Just as a simple layout package it's really useful for just um, laying elements, different types of elements out on a page quickly. Yes, it generates code also. Um, 
not the code you may want to put into your final production website, but it's code which is great for quickly putting together to, to demonstrate things, whether that is a prototype or just um, a smaller aspect of the site where you just want to get a, you know, a feel across to a client. So it's a generic tool, um, very much focused on web design. So that's for me why it's become the ideal web design tool of choice. So why doesn't Fireworks have the greater following of packages like Photoshop um, for web design? Part of me wonders whether it's some kind of snobbery, code snobbery um, in particular, because because I think the marketing push in the early days was that you know, this, this product generates code, it produces websites for you, which um, can be frowned upon. <laughs> I don't think I've even looked at the code um, well, from the early versions to see to see how good or bad it was, it was just quick code for doing quick quick demos in my mind, not for building a site out of. But I think some people got very, you know, got the very end of a stick, or you know, maybe that was the push thrust of the marketing. I don't know. But it's become a kind of a, a sideline product for many people. And if you know, if you're a professional web designer, you use Photoshop. But, as I say, we're not going to go into that religious debate. <laughs> Fireworks is a great tool. I can't find anything like it. There's no equivalent for me that I've managed to find. And I've looked around quite a bit. Um, I've looked at Acorn and Draw It, Opacity, Inkscape, Sketch. I've had a good trawl around Illustrator, even in design. Um, as well as many, many years of Photoshop use as well. Um, but the benefits I found that Fireworks had, I've not really seen replicated in many places. Maybe one or two features pop up in those other packages, but Fireworks has them all, and it's that kind of combination of all these great tools, which we're going to talk about, um, combined with this generic approach of, of these different types of technology that it kind of comprises that makes it so powerful for me. So what we're going to do in the next video is actually start looking at uh, why and how it helps you in the real world of web design. Um, we'll you know, start with the basics of looking at the interface and uh, some of the tools that are available to us. Okay, thank you very much.